what we're going to do is I'm going to assume you already have Anki installed and we're going to be using uh, another tool called Notion. And this is just so we can edit. And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to sign up and um, continue with Google. And we're going to pick this one. This is my user account, but you can use a normal uh, setup if you want. I, and we're just going to use it for ourselves right now. But you can also use it for collaborative features, which we're not going to look at. So let's create a new um, a new page here. We're going to call it uh, Becoming Funny. And um, if we go to uh, the Chrome Web Store, we can find the Notion add-on here. So here's the Notion Web Clipper. And we're going to add that to our Chrome, add it. it and cool, it's added and it should, um, let's see, you might have to pin it here, there, and I'm just going to move it all the way here. And uh, let's go to the first article here and let's click this Notion button. And it's going to ask us uh, for the title and we're going to say we're going to save it. And what we're going to do is uh, put it under our page of Becoming Funny, save page. And it's going to ask us if we want to open it in Notion and we can do that and you can see that it added the article here. Everything is added, images with the link and so on. So let me close that up and we're gonna do the same for the two other articles. And let's make sure we save it to Becoming Funny, bam. You can change the title if you want, but I'm gonna leave the default. So let's do it with this one too. Becoming Funny, bam. Now we have all of our articles, so we can close up some of these tabs and the links will be in the description, so no worries. And if we go here now to become funny, you can see we have three pages. And let's add an icon because it's always fun. And now we have a cover image too. And those will be added in, uh, in your Anki deck. So let's start here. I'm just gonna change the title, so it's gonna be 23 trips from comedians to be funnier. Let's remove that. And um, we'll just keep the link there. This image, we really don't need it, so we can just uh, delete it. This intro, we don't really care about that. We're just interested in what can we do um, in order to become more funny. So in the tool we are gonna be using for converting this to flashcards, uh, toggle list, this thing here, you can see it's grayed out, is a uh, card. Let's take this chunk here and just put it there. You can see it turned black there. That means you can unfold it there. And uh, I like making uh, cards look really nice. So let's use a quotation block there. And let's change that to Lee. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. You, you have to decide for yourself like how much information is relevant information. And I think I'm gonna change it to hashtag like that. And then uh, I'll change this to use the rule of and uh, command E here. That's gonna change this into a closed deletion card. Let's change this one, use a hashtag, drop on your real life experiences. Let's make that a closed deletion and we'll just drop this in there. So this is something we're gonna repeat and you have to figure out like, what do you want to memorize, right? So it's up to you. In this case, I'm just gonna get everything in here. So after you've gone through the article and bro broken it down into toggle list, um, in this case, it's kind of easy, right? We, we are using some numbered lists, so you can go through it and then check it. And um, I like just putting in the, into Anki and then I review it there. But um, you can also do some extra processing here. Just go through it, clean it up. Because one of the challenges you have, if you're going to go straight from the article to toggle this and then into Anki is that it's not going to be so structured. But let me show you how this looks like. So just so you get an impression of it. And then we're going to look at the two other articles. So you, you have to export this and pick the HTML option and then export. And that's going to generate a zip file if you have images. If you don't have images, it's just going to be HTML file. And then you are going to go to toanki.net, which is uh, my cool project that converts this page into flashcards. You're just gonna go here, click to upload, and then uh, I'll pick this as the file. It was downloaded just recently, that one. And you have a few options which we're not gonna cover. We're just gonna leave it as is, go to the next, and then hit convert, and then download, bam. And let's open that up in Anki, and you can see it created 23 notes, and that correlates to the number of tips, right? In this case, 23 tips. And if we click this, you can see. So um, this is uh, one of the downsides to using this approach is that 
you might get a lot of low yield cards and then I just you just have to edit them essentially. So you, for example, in this case, we just search for rule three of comedy or rule three of writing. So you can see, found some more. There's an image, which is good. Yeah, let's add that one. That one is nice. It's uh, that, we'll add an image. And we can also add uh, extra text here if you wanted to do that there. And you can see now we have this, so good. And then so on. So you should try to reword them eventually, uh, ideally before you export it, but this is one way to do it, right? And let's do um, two more pages. So here is the um, second page, which we added. Not to be funny with pictures, right? So you can see all of them got created and there is a little bit of formatting issues, but uh, no worries. So we're gonna fix all of that. Before we do that, let's just enter full screen so we get a little bit more space. Let's start from the top. We are just gonna create a toggle list like that. So we're breaking it up, right? This way the images and everything is gonna be in the detail. You can see, so you can see the image is inside here, right? Let's um, do it for all of them. It's not that many. So you can see Notion is really very comfortable with writing so you can very easily just write a lot of stuff and um, and it's gonna do a lot of same things by default, right? You just have to add your toggles and it's gonna work. See, now we have, we're almost, almost there and here is some more part of the article we don't want to add so we'll just remove that and again when you're creating these um, toggles you have to figure out like what is the best approach for example i i do uh, a lot of close deletions right i will mark them like this and then i'll actually even um, i would even split it up even more like for example like this uh create <laughs> close deletions again right and then split it up and look at the lines and figure out, okay, is this something I want to memorize, right? So if it is, I'll, um, I'll put it into a new section. If it isn't, I'll just mark it and then I'll delete it like that. And if I still want some text, but I don't want it uh, in the header, I'll open up the toggle list and then put it inside. You can see Notion is very powerful with the shortcuts. Yeah, so this is something you have to evaluate, right? I like removing all of this stuff and keeping it just uh, very simple for the things I want to memorize. So if you go through that, I'm not gonna do it for all of them here, but that's something you can do um, when you're breaking down an article there. And when you're happy with the article, you just, again, you click the three dots there, click the export, make sure it's HTML and then hit export. And um, optionally, if you have a lot of files, maybe clean out the downloads directory before you do that. But in my case, I'm just gonna use the date. So we go back to the same page, hit the refresh, click the upload, check the timestamp. This one was just up downloaded it's the correct one and um, close deletion is turned on by default so we're gonna leave that and um, convert Bam. and you can see it created a new one how to be funny with and if we go in here study that you can see it's all there right with the images let's go into full screen so you can actually see and then if you look at the card and you think it's a lot you just edit it down right and yeah so that was the second article you can see it's there and then if we go back here, you can look at the third one. Or if you wanted to, you could also save the article, just command save, save it as a HTML file. You can click the import in Notion like this, import, and then you just pick HTML here. And here's the file, so I'll just click import, and then it's gonna upload it to Notion. It's gonna show up in a moment now. And now you can see here's the article. So you can see a lot of the images are missing in this case, but uh, that's fine, we don't care about that. What we want to do is, um, we just want to get the points that were mentioned. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get our cursor and just select all of this, and go all the way up to the bullet points we care about, and we're just gonna delete, bam. So uh, now we have the article, we can delete all of this too. Or actually, let's take the title and put that just so we simplify the title, we'll delete some more stuff. Or actually, yeah. Yeah, let's delete more stuff and uh, click close deletions again. Keep, uh, let's put this in there, bam, bam. So this is exactly what we did earlier. We're just, I'm using shortcuts now to save time. So you can see that you can actually do this really fast if you wanted to. You don't have to uh, do it the manual way uh, or slow way. You can just break down an article like this in Notion, bam, bam. Bam, just look at how fast this is. Isn't this amazing? 
I love Notion. I hope you will love it too if you aren't using it yet. So, so. Bam. 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 And you can see now that all of them have some content in there, we can review them. I use a lot of closed deletions, so I'm just going to go in and mark. And we already remember this. Use the rule of three. Minimize your words. Delay funny. Compare. And contrast. Use... Um, there. Use callbacks. Draw upon your own real life experiences. There, so you can see we have a bunch of things. And um, again, you have to decide for yourself how much text you want, but uh, the less you have, the better. So try to either rephrase or um, reduce the text or sp break it up there. So, and I also, as I mentioned, I like making stuff look nice. So I can do, I can just go around and do stuff like this, right? Add a quotation mark like that. So it looks nicer in my opinion, like that, bam. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, so you can make it as nice as you want, right? You don't have to uh, keep it boring. Spice it all up. Notion is very flexible. You can rephrase things. You can put it in other quotation marks like I'm doing right now, right? So just to just to make this easier to review for you in Anki, right? Yeah, so um, that this is the last page. Again, the same process. We're just going to hit the export and um, let's uh, do that in the here. Refresh the page, click the upload, pick our page. It looks correct with the date and time. And if you wanted, you could say you could change the deck name here, right? Funny, funny like that. And let's convert that. Bam, we open the file in Anki and you can see it's using our new deck name, funny, funny. And it says, keep a funny file. Bam, if you wanted, you could edit it here in Anki. You can see it's, yeah, it's very, this is an approach that uh, can be very messy, at least if you do it uh, like I do it. But uh, I'm sure if you uh, follow the minimal pr uh, information principle, you can um, reword this, right? So yeah. This is just the one way to do it. And um, I hope uh, you learned something new. And uh, maybe now you can much easier go uh, on, for example, Wikipedia. If you go to Wikipedia, you can now break down something from Wikipedia much more easily because this approach would work, right? So if you wanted to memorize everything about, uh, let's say, uh, Richard uh, Hamming, right? You could just click this Notion Clipper it would save the Richard Hamming Wikipedia page. You open it in Notion and then you start uh, editing it, right? So here you can see like all of the information and you can you can also use Notion collaboratively, right? You could share it with a friend and then you could both like, for example, someone starts at the top and um, you could just start writing questions, right? What was uh, the occupation, occupation of... Dr. Hamming, right? And then you just open it up and then you could drag a piece of text like this. You see how easy it is? You can move text again, right? He was an American mathematician. And then you can just delete, right? You can use the shortcuts in Notion close up. Uh, when was uh, Hamming born? And there. So you can see this is very flexible. And I think, I think there's a lot of cool stuff you can do and just play around and uh, Thank you for watching. Please remember to smash the like button. I know you can do it. I believe in you. And if you haven't already, subscribe.